I mean, I'm sorry for the Pokemon fans. I have to be honest. Were there any ideas that they rejected? <laughs> I mean, you mean like, the, yeah, like right? somebody stepped on gum on the floor, floor gum. You know, it was like yeah. whatever came into oh, like there are no no now you know, like, so uh, kitchen sink. You know, there's a kitchen. There's you know, whatever they had. Welcome everybody to Galaxy Con Live today. We have something amazing for you. We have a Pokemon reunion. This year is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. It is hard to believe it has been 25 years, but we have an incredible lineup for you today. And we thank you all for being here. And hopefully you're having a fantastic Friday. I want to jump into this because we have a lot of amazing people and I'm sure we have a lot of wonderful and probably funny stories to hear and make sure you give us some questions for when we get to the Q&A part because I know you have a lot of questions. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. I am your host, Real Breaking Nate, for the next 45 minutes or so. Let's do this. First to the stage, the virtual stage, the one and only Eric Stewart. Oh, hey, is this on? Hello, Eric, it, hey. it's on. Welcome. Hey. Oh, hey, hey, what's going on? Good to see oh, you, real breaking, oh, Nate. I it, figured, you know, figured we just have you pop in here and, and talk in. for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. Well, thank you for being here. And next, coming to the virtually, virtual stage, we have Megan Hollingshead. Hi. Hey, Megan. Hello. Thank Hello. you for being here. Nate, thank you for having me. How exciting. Well, we're honored. We're honored. That's that's not all. We still have some more incredible people. Next up, we have Stuart Zagnet. Woo! Stuart. Oh, and Pikachu. Oh, hey! the big reveal. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, nice Stuart. Everybody. Are you doing well? Uh, uh, excellent. Really doing well. Healthy, fit, ready to go. Good. That's what that's what we want to hear. All right. Next up, we have. The lovely Tara Sands. Hey guys. Tara. Hi. Woo. Tara. Yay. I love, I love your setup you got there. Thank you. I foam makes everything look better. And the beautiful blue lights too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Next up we have Michael Hengney. Woo! Oh, there he is. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I just want to say I'm very happy that the real Breaking Nate is here because the <laughs> fake Breaking Nate was is bad. No one likes him, right? I mean, no, Stuart likes I'm him trying to get rid of him. I, I have no. Yeah, we we're call this it. close. Thanks. We're this close. Hopefully, by the end of the panel, we can figure out something to do about this. Mm -hmm. Offline, we'll figure that out. Well, Michael, I appreciate you uh, bringing that topic up. I really do. <laughs> so. Thank you very much. And thank you for being here, Michael. Uh, but that's not all. We still have one more person, the one, the only, Veronica Taylor. Everybody's here. Hi, so nice to see you all. Look at this room. I know. I'm taking a photo. All right. <gasps> photo photo of a oh, lovely lady. <laughs> oh, no. Is this, the, is this the Pokemon Punch? Yeah. Is it me? I love that everybody's getting photo ops right now. That's like the new thing to do is because that's how everybody is getting together right now. So you see all these photo ops of people just like taking pictures and you see all these little small squares. So um, things have definitely really changed. But how have all of you been doing this past year or so? We've always been squares. So perhaps this is not new. Small square. <laughs> yeah, small square. So true. I'm well, well, yeah. yeah. Well, well, hopefully you all are doing well, and uh, I hope you have some good stories because I know the fans are, are waiting to hear some, so probably some funny stories as well, maybe some behind the scenes stuff. Mm. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of this panel, 25 years of Pokemon. Would wow. you have ever yeah. imagined this? No. No. Unbelievable. No. It does not seem like 25 years have, have no. gone by. Well, it seems like 30. We, we came 30. in in uh, 1998, so it's not quite 25 for us. Yes. It, but um, so then it doesn't seem right. like 25 for sure. And we're only 25 years old, which is the so weirdest it's a little bit weird. We're not. Yeah. yeah. 
Some of my first words spoken were as Ash when I was one. <laughs> it's a girl uh, playing a boy. A what? <laughs> <laughs> we pitched it down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep directing, man. I, I can do it. Whatever you want, Michael. Peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. Yeah, peaks and valleys. <laughs> Well, I wanna... we, still, we still just take direction from Michael for everything. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Nothing's changed. Oh, I feel badly for you. <laughs> we love Michael. Oh, it's good. It's good. I, I want to I ask you all what might be a very hard question, but a very simple question at the same time. Why do you all think Pokemon is so popular? Uh, uh, because of Bulbasaur. Yes, thank you. Yes, so, <laughs> obviously. I think it's because the fact that uh, there is actually a, um, some character for everyone in that group, um, whether you relate to the innocent hero or the funny bad guys, or and their and their strength in their bond with each other, that friendship bond. I think a lot of fans um, gravitate towards shows like this, who mm -hmm. might be sort of on the outside, as some of us can experience uh, personally ourselves. Um, I, you know, I consider myself a geek and a nerd on many levels, and I know sometimes it's hard to fit in with every crowd. And I think that this group of characters and this show was um, a way for people to feel involved and be connected, and the, because the characters were that way with each other. Yeah. Um, it's not just brightly colored and funny. There's actually mm -hmm. There's a moral to the stories without being preachy, and um, and I and I think that that sort of wholesomeness it does register with people. Yeah, and, and it was always tempered with that little bit of whimsy, that little looniness that it, did, it didn't overpower it, but it complemented the the more dramatic scenes and 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 the moments. So it just felt like like a full balanced entertainment. It gave everybody everything. There was always comic relief. Which I appreciated, and get either with little moments where we could be a little silly, and mm -hmm. uh, and I think the audience really responded to that. Yeah, and there, there's a lot of. Oh, sorry, go on. No, go ahead. I, I was gonna say there's so much brand ingenuity with, with you know the cards, the games, the plushies. The, <laughs> right. So yeah. once you were immersed in that world, you wanted, you know, for it was a collector's dream, um, catch mm -hmm. them all, uh, which is so smart. And if I ever start a business, I'm gonna I'm gonna just steal that. So. <laughs> and I think along those Bible lines too, and there's so many ways for people to connect through yeah. those too, so that you could make friends through um, playing with your friends in the playground or through the cards or the games, but that deeper uh, message, mm -hmm. which is friendship and challenging yourselves and your friends along the way is all, I think it brings everybody together. Yeah. What, what, what's really interesting is that, that my son, who was about three when this all started, now is uh as from the pandemic everything all the real jobs he did he's a musician fell apart so he's doing a a part-time a babysitting job for two sons of a former teacher and he brought his pokemon cards that he had when he was little and they were playing pokemon this ne next generation with mm -hmm. like a, a nine and a six-year-old and i'm going oh my god it just keeps going yeah, it, just, that's so it, cool. it regenerates itself, and there's another generation that's discovering it and enjoying it, and it's really that's kind of amazing. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first year that we I, we were doing the show. We were talking to a couple of teachers, and when I said, you know, they asked what I did, I said I was working on the on Pokemon, and they're kind of like, oh, Pokemon. You know, we had the band and the cards in the in the schoolyard and everything. Mm -hmm. A lot of people remember that, but she said, why can't you do a show where the kids are like? you're teaching kids the presidents or the, about history or something. And I think it's because kids don't care about that. But I do think that kids <laughs> like to have a certain, they like to memorize mm -hmm. things and they like to have knowledge of things. It's just not the things that are in school most of the time. And so they like to study and have that arcane knowledge of all these little aspects of the, of the, of the critters. And I think that that was a big, a big part too. It just locked yeah. in. And also that parents didn't understand it. So you're learning yeah. all of right. that. Like exactly a secret right. language. Wait, I didn't know? understand like it. Secret I didn't even still understand it. I still have no idea what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously from the way no, right? Exactly. Just look at my work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Looking at me, Aaron. <laughs> well, you know, some, I think sometimes in life we just need things to make us happy. And I yeah. think that's what Pokemon right. does. And I, I, I am uh, very huge in 
in that I think Pokemon plays a big part in mental health as well. Mm -hmm. And I think it really helps people cope through very um, difficult times in their life. And it, there is a lot of learning aspects in it as well. Just like a lot of you have said, you know, even if it is the card game, you know, if you're a kid, the cards are helping you learn how to read. They're, they're helping you learn how to do math. So there is a lot of meaning behind this stuff. You just have to look for it. And uh, you're learning without even knowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. well, there's, also, there's, there's something to be said about the fact that, you know, there's a lot of things that are bright and shiny that grab us, right? And then they fade. The 15 minutes are gone. So if a show is that popular or if a franchise is that popular for so many years, it's because even after the initial just they grabbed you with all of the stuff that's going on, when you strip it away, there are a lot of shows that have tried to follow the same template that we did. There are many shows that have card games and this and that that fail. And mm -hmm. I think one of the I think when you strip away all of the shiny objects of the show, there still is a core message mm -hmm. and the characters are you care about them, not every one of them but you care about at least one of them. And shows right. that have failed, I've worked on those as well, where you say, there's no character on this show that I care about. And that's why this thing's not gonna go anywhere. But after 25 years, obviously, there's there's a care involved in making these characters, some at least someone you can relate to somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I mean, the fact, the fact that every year at the Thanksgiving parade, we see this guy I know. Flying right. Over. That, that's that's an amazing thing that yeah. that Pikachu is as popular yeah. as yeah. ever, and yeah. um, I don't know. It's just it's really nice to be connected to this yeah. amazing, uh, unique project that has yeah. stood the test of time. Yeah, and when you can have enslaved creatures attacking other people, I mean that's fun too. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, there it is in a nutshell. I think we all wish we had Pokeball. Yeah. Of course, they're not, all, they're not all locked in your basement, Mike, like, like uh, some, no, some, some of them are here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and uh, dive into uh, fan questions. We got people in the okay. audience, yeah, okay. uh, the virtual audience. So right here we have one from Christy. Which Pokemon would you want as an actual pet? Actual mm. pet, Mr. Mime. No. I was just gonna say anything but housework Mr. Mime. or something. That thing scares no. me. I know, too. No, it scares me. Uh -huh. But doesn't yeah. doesn't yeah. Mr. Mime do housework or something? Yeah, housework, but he that's doesn't. the good thing. He's cooking, gardening. He's the Marcel Marceau of uh, he only got to the public. He has the massage technique. He always takes Professor Oak uh, out. Windy. <laughs> he was always Mr. popping up, so that was not cool. But the thing is, why does Mr. Mime say Mr. Mime? I mean, it doesn't. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. <laughs> Right? I mean, if you're a mom, why do any of them say their own name? No, Michael, yes, Michael, I don't you know, know why they say, Michael, you know yes. why they say their names. We did that so that the kids would memorize all of the names of the Pokemon I instead know, of barking and speaking. Mime? Well, How does the mime you know what? When Mr. Mime kids, said, a mime, mime is mime, speaking. Oh, Why, oh, Billy? Yes, a right. mime is speaking. That's like, right. What is that? Well, maybe <laughs> mime doesn't mean the same thing in every other language. I hey, wait, didn't you write that episode? Mime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was in the original. Mime, mime. Who was it? Who was it? <laughs> was it here originally voice? Mr. Meme? I think he was Mr. Yes. Meme. Yes. Oh. It was way ahead Mr. of his mime. Yeah. Yeah. Mime. mime. Who named Who named them in English, though? Did you guys get to no. Part no. participate they, in that? They came in a in, a, in all, all renamed. Yeah. Yes, okay, yes. I have a legitimate question, though, about this pet thing. And and this is something I never thought about. And now that it's a pet, I need to know: Do they poop? Oh yeah, you have a problem with that. Yeah. That's right. You and they also and that's where that. Mr. Mime comes in no. because he sweeps it all up. But he silent, because <laughs> if they poop, I don't want it as a pet. No, no. You know, they don't. Pet, then okay, poop. Not, no. no, there were a lot of questions about that. I mean, the thing that you know, Ron London, who was the guy who would re re do record, well, we would sit there. You know, he also when things played man drinking, calling oh, out. He did man play. calling an old man <laughs> calling out. That's right, old man. I still call him. If hey, you old ask him, he'll tell you. He was like, that's his credit. Know. He was yeah. he was man calling out. And I'm sorry to interrupt. Hello, Ron. <laughs> but um, we would say, okay, so they're eating stuff like. Is that chicken? Like, are there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, right. where does a hamburger they, come from? Right. Don't bring it's up like, the, the rice ball and the jelly roll. That's hey, another jelly show. donuts. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but where does chicken come from? Because it, there aren't really chickens in the Pokemon world, are there? Wait. Well, Team no. Rocket would would every once in a while would like 
pretend to own a restaurant or I remember. Yeah, okay, so what were they cooking? Is my question. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> Pidgey. Like is the blue paint uh, special <laughs> Mr. Oh, Mime oh, today? No. What is that? Oh, we don't have pigeon. arms here. So where is anything grown? This is one of the questions I, feel like I had. We saw, but, I feel like we wait saw. Wait a second. This is a really things. serious question. Yes. These kids go out on the road with a whole bunch of animals, and there's no food. Oh, they, have a fry, they have a frying pan? Orange someone, Island. Someone what did I left. make in that frying pan? I used it as an umbrella. It's a drying <laughs> pan. It's a drying pan. Which is I mean, why there's definitely plants. Maybe everyone's a vegetarian. I think that's yeah. what it plants is. Plants I'm okay with, but here, like, there's a bug type Pokemon. Like Victory, Are there Victory bugs Bell is Pokemon? a plant. Ooh. Victory mm. Bell is a plant. You plant wrote it, Michael. Pokemon. No, hey, I just, no, I, I just, uh, I was following you adapted orders. It. <laughs> All right, <laughs> answer, answer Christy's question. Now oh, sorry. I, I, I would like to have Squirtle because he's got Ray Bans. Because he's got what? Ray Bans. Sunglasses. Ray Bans. Yeah, I think the sunglasses great dad. Squirtle Squad. He's got yeah. great dad. Okay. No, no, yeah. Squirtle Squad. I, I think Snorlax because he's really easy to take care of. He's just always good, good point. Yeah. Oh and no. His, oh, his poop oh, would be enormous. He's, he's more concerned about that. <laughs> and then Mr. Mime comes over. He's like, uh, you know, a, no, a no, robot cleaner. You know, no. he just comes in and sweeps it up. Yeah, Mr. Mime. If I'm not there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. I'm going with Goldeen because uh, – yeah. No, I got a bowl. It's yeah, easy. that would work. That's good. Flopping around like that? I don't know. That's really good. good. Or a magic carp. Carp, carp. Carp, carp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> uh, Tara, what are you picking? Oh, if, if it doesn't poop, I think I'd like to cuddle with an Eevee. <laughs> It does. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, they'd be good cuddling. Yes. They're absolutely. So cute. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, I, I love that this all turned into a concern of the poop situation. So. <laughs> and the food and the, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> good, question, good question, Christy. Yes. Yes. Dog thank you so much, Christy. Big responsibility. It, it really is. Any kind yeah. of pet. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next <laughs> question. Yeah. All right. This is from Alan. Uh, how involved were you in the creation of the voice of your character? Ooh, that's Ooh. a good, that's a good question. Veronica should probably start this. I, I would say um, n not that much. I mean, it came out of my mouth, but um, <laughs> we were um, tasked with trying to get. So we're getting some new information today. That's great. <laughs> It's just in. Oh, wow. <laughs> How many viewers have we lost already? No. Um, Beverly like, Cleary, and now this. I mean, that's big news then. I, right. I did Ash like this. Um, so the thing is, when I auditioned for Ash, oh, any characters, we had to get as close as we could to the original Japanese actor's voice. And so it was based on that. So it's not something that I just came up with out of my mind. And then... Um, Siren going by, and then um, and then it, it kind of morphed into what it was based on how we were uh, working in the booth and how it fit in and how it fit with the other characters. But in terms of that, it was not my idea to make Ash sound that way, or any of the characters for the most part that I've auditioned with. You come up with a general idea and then it's kind of catered to um, what it eventually becomes. So yep. my counterpoint to that is that when I went in, I didn't know anything about any of them. And, and they, they bring the characters up on the screen. And I don't remember hearing any of the Japanese. Uh, and, and when I have later, years later, when I heard the Japanese Professor Oak, um, it wouldn't have been anything that I could have imitated because it mm. didn't even make, it didn't make any, it didn't translate well, let's put it that way. And so I looked at I looked at the the picture of him, and I I saw that he was older, and basically I went with that. I didn't even remember what I did until they told me that they wanted me to do it, and then I came in and they play my audition tape back, so I would remember what I did, and it was just something on the spur of the moment that hit me when I saw the picture of him, and, and that evolved too because if I if you listen to my my voice in the first season, it got more oaky as the season went on and it mm -hmm. really found itself. Love more and I don't right. even, I would, I would redo the, that, like that first episode 
uh, if I had <laughs> if I had the chance because it because it had it, it got got richer as as we went on and then I, I understood I it. And it like became, a fine Chardonnay. Yeah, we had yeah, toppings no, of too. vanilla, I believe. It it is oak there, oak yeah. barrel. Mm. Uh, <laughs> just yeah. shards of uh, splinters in there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so, maybe turtles. But so I was one just voice, say that. one voice, yes. The second voice, no. So uh, the first, Anyone else? Brock was. Um, well, I was asked to come in and play a 15-year-old boy, and what I wanted to do was finally use my Casey Kasem voice from G-Force as Mark, uh, that I used to play with my friends uh, in like fifth grade, I used to imitate that character. And so it was like, okay, what voice can I do? And it's like, can't be as stoned as, as Shaggy, but I could do my Casey Kasem. So that's where I, that's where Brock's voice came from. So I didn't even know what the original, that was not like, here's the original, this is what you need to do. It just mm -hmm. needed to keep getting higher and higher and higher. Thank you, Michael. But um, <laughs> the, the other voice, I was brought in to imitate another actor as James in the beginning. I was brought into voice match. James um, Woods. Exactly, James <laughs> Woods, unfortunately. <laughs> and um, it started off, and Michael probably will back me up on this, it started off that, that James was very flat, like it was very monotone. Uh, like the first couple episodes, the, the other actor, was almost like they were playing it a little more straight. And um, once we got into the James stuff and we saw the silliness that was uh, in it, I definitely added my Ed Wynn and the woo and all the silly stuff like that um, to that character. But in the beginning, it was to, to do a voice match. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So there you go. Oh, and Butch, when Michael said, here's another villain you need to play, it can't sound like Brock or like James. I had to do my Harvey Feierstein. That's what I had to do. <laughs> you had to. You had right. There and was no other register no left other over. <laughs> <laughs> there was no other option. I have no, nothing else to Duh. do. <laughs> did, was that, um, did that match the Japanese in any Not way? at all. Butch did yelled you? a lot, but he did not talk like this. <laughs> 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 Thank goodness for that. Yes. For the yeah. creatures themselves, we did uh, try to stay close to the the originals. I, I know my first day of work, I was playing uh, some random girl character. And then they said, hey, can you uh, do this little blue guy? He uh, he says Don, he says Donne, but s sound like him, but say Bulbasaur. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird show. Uh, yeah. So so for the creatures themselves, we usually listen to the Japanese and tone tone wise would match what they did. Right. Mm. right. I came in for an audition and uh, Michael told me, Michael told me how to do it. And um, uh, yeah, I just kind of followed the directions. But you know, what what people may or may not know is that we kind of are who we are and we do what we do. And there's only so much we can do with our voices. I mean, some of us are more flexible than others, but um, at the end of the day, if uh, if the cat if the person casting is looking for vanilla and I'm coming in with chocolate, it's not personal or it's not because I can't jump through certain hoops or I can't find a certain character. It's just that my interpretation of the character is different from what what Tara's is going to be. Right. So um, so it's not so much like how much in in the case of Pokemon, how much did I create the character, but how much was uh, were the Pokemon people and the four kids people, what did they want? And, uh, and sometimes, then rem sometimes it doesn't. And then remember we would do like, because I saw Megan smiling there when you say we played things. I was like, I got to stay on voice. Okay, let's play it back, play it back. And like what was done in the audition, you know, because, yeah. yeah. you know, because we had, you know, it was Nintendo also. And so we were trying to please four kids and Nintendo, we didn't want to go too far off. Once they approved it, I wanted to make sure that we stayed on it as much. But you know, it, it's sometimes it's hard because as you said, you know, you did the audition a couple of months ago or whenever it was, I don't, I don't remember the, the time lag and stuff and you forget, but also, you know, people came in, I remember, you know, uh, many of you, everybody here had other jobs. And so sometimes you'd come in for a four o'clock session, you're a little tired. You know, it's hard mm -hmm. to hear yourself sometimes. Yeah, um, yeah. Nurse and, Joy might have so, had a long shift. She's tired. Yeah, they, you know, they're doing, they're doing three days on, two days off on those Pokemon centers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's hard. 
I've told this, I've told this before, so forgive me, but please don't but tell it again. The yeah. first, the first, <laughs> We've the heard first this. game, it might, have been, it might have been Snap, or I don't what, and I was in the studio, and it was early on in the in the series, and I'm in the booth doing line after line after line, and there was a. Nintendo I was doing lines too. There. Different studio. TMI. <laughs> <laughs> That's how your voice got higher. He didn't speak a lot of a lot of English, but he stopped don't me in the kid. middle of a read. And I hear he gets on the mic and he goes, no, 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 more Oki. And, and I went, oh, and then it actually triggered what, mm. what he wanted me to do. And I realized he was talking about the kind of crack in the voice and right. that was Oki. And, and from then on, I never, I, I never had a problem. I knew exactly where I needed to go. So this Japanese man actually helped me solidify the, <laughs> the voice. Was, wow. was that the guy from, the, was awesome. he from Nintendo? Yeah, I, I believe no, so. No, he was, he was booth. from was he, No, 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 there was the a restaurant. guy that used to, there was a guy that used to around. <laughs> do you remember the guy, he would dress like a leopard or like a tiger? Do you remember him from Nintendo? Was yes. that the guy? Yes. No. Do you remember he was- serious? How really? did I miss that? Yeah. Do you remember him, Eric, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every like couple of years or eight months or something, he would come in and he was full of energy, but oh, he dressed yeah. like a leopard, like everything was like, not mm -hmm. like a leopard. I mean, he didn't, have, yeah. he didn't have whiskers <laughs> yeah. or anything. He was oh, a fun right. guy, but he dressed like a, he dressed like all in leopard yep. or something. Yep, yep, yep. I, know I never exactly. saw him. I know I'm exactly. so upset that I missed this. Me too. <laughs> no, don't be. Yeah, that's awesome. Leopard man, yeah. Well, Which Alan. I, I hope that answers your question. A lot of great answers yeah. with that one. Well, a lot of answers. Sorry. I didn't even know there was a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's this, what's this question situation? Uh, next up, <laughs> this is from Nick. What song do you think would make the best Pokemon battle song? I have, a tiger. I have the tiger. <laughs> oh, wow. I was okay. just telling that. Yes. <laughs> we can't reference Thanks. a real Thanks, animal buddy. in Pokemon <laughs> world. Yeah. Pokemon. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's so good. Oh, that is so good. It's, it's like you guys have rehearsed uh, this question before. That's weird. I've never that thought was of it, but it's also like a good training song. It's just so yeah. good. It's a good yeah. montage song too. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Like we could play it right now. <laughs> I heard it. No, no, I'll go with it. I'll go with All it. Right. Yeah. I was really thinking if you don't bring me flowers, but that's a whole different other <laughs> kind of fight. I was, <laughs> I was trying to come up. On At least they made Megan him. laugh. Republic, but I couldn't come up with it. You know, Neil. You know, Neil and, and, and Barbara. That whole mm -hmm. battle. That was. It was a lot of drama mm -hmm. there. <laughs> well, there we go. I don't go. think we, these people know these songs. I think we're dating I ourselves. Don't care. By... I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's some people that know. There's got to be right. some. Some people. They're looking it up right now. They're, yep. they're, they're like, oh my gosh. They're like, how oh did God. I never know you don't bring me flowers? Yeah, yeah now they do. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, okay. so it, it, it sounds like Eye of the Tiger is the agreed upon. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rising up, back on the streets. All right, what's the next question? Okay. Yeah, what? We're, yeah. The rest of the, to the, rest of the time, Tara is just going to sing. That's it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to turn into Pokemon karaoke. <laughs> there, that already exists. Pokey -yoke. Pokey -yoke. Pokey -yoke. Pokey -yoke. that's right. Yeah. Pokey -yoke. We love you, Tim. Nice. Uh, okay. Next question. Next question. This is from Shaw. What power or ability from a Pokemon do you think would be cool to have in real life? Mm. Vine, vine whip. Oh, vine whip. <laughs> vine whip. <laughs> You would vine. Wow, I would never think of that. Because listen, you I'm would really want to whip a person with a vine. No, I would use it to get things off high shelves. Oh, nice. Oh, that that is convenient. That's very okay. practical. And, to, and maybe to, okay. in battle, but just to like, I think it would it would be like um having a like a plastic plastic man like with the extenders. I would use it as like a. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> very wise. Because I wasn't yeah. paying attention to the show very much. Isn't Pikachu's attack called Thunderbolt? Mm -hmm. Thunder, yes, shock. So. Thunder shock, Thunder shock, Thunderbolt, Thunder, Thunder shock. shock, any of the the, the electric Thunder thighs. Thunder. I, Thunder would, thighs. I, I would use yeah. Thunder. Yeah, thighs. Thunder yeah, that was one. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> How about doesn't <laughs> Drowsy or Hypno? Don't they? Can't they hypnotize people? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Jiggly puffs. Oh yeah, they draw on people. Drowsy. I would do that. Drowsy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drowsy. Yeah. yeah. I I'm still gonna go with. Oh, what about Ditto? Right. I mean, that's what I need is Ditto. No, oh, it's yeah. Ditto. Ditto 
could become, could become anything else. else. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's a good one. For myself to get things done. I need like four of yes. me at this point. Right. Yeah, that's good. I want the duplicating, but I don't want to become someone else uh, unless I'm playing them in a cartoon. Mm. Well, then you're back to Mr. Mime then. Just yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mr. Mime. Someone, everything comes back to Mr. Mime. <laughs> I would, I would like to be able to fly. So, uh, okay. flying in general. That's not a magical ability, though. That poke, they just do it. Yeah. It's like no a, one has asked. Sorry, but I want to fly I first class. Like a, I don't want to fly coach anymore. Yeah, <laughs> fly, your own, fly your own Charizard. <laughs> no one has asked who what's the worst Pokemon, Mr. Mime. It's got. Is it Mr. Mime now? No, there's Mr. Mime a, no. There's a, there are a Everything? few. There are a few Psyduck, candidates. Psyduck, Psyduck. Oh come on! I'll Psyduck. tell you. Oh, no, no way. I hate Psyduck is not the worst. Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet. Oh, I hate Wobbuffet. Yeah, Wobbuffet <laughs> is I'm the sorry. worst. The worst. You know what it is? <laughs> yes. Wobbuffet. It, I, as far as I know, Wobbuffet. It, it meant Wobbuffet? something in Japanese. It was like a pun or something. And so, but but they named it Wobbuffet, which doesn't have any meaning. So when he was when the Pokemon would say Wobbuffet. In, in in the Japanese version, it meant something, but well, I Mike, hated Wobbuffet. Michael, you bring up an interesting <laughs> point, which I, I need to ask you this. I, I need to ask you this question. Hmm. What was the original line when I held the frying pan over my head? There's no way it rhymed, and there's no way it was the same concept. That is called talent. That's <laughs> where it comes from. Right. That's a good From answer. the writer side and the actor side. Let me see. It was twenty-seven and a half years ago. I don't remember. I don't remember. How do you remember that? for lunch? I mean, it wasn't I don't even twenty-five years. Ago. It was even twenty-four it was years 20. ago. Was that I, the frying pan and the drying pan? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's like my most popular face. line. It's like the Shakespeare of bra. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say Shakespeare, but uh... I'd say Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> the Rosetta Would you Stone. Ask me for a line from one episode. Um, Say that again. I, go. Wait. Uh, that is the most requested line for me to say is Brock. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've that actually signed me. frying pans. Okay. I was going to say, well, in episode four, Michael. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers? I mean, I don't remember from being in the booth. I don't remember. I've we seen the remember from conventions. People right. telling what? us what we said. Yeah. My favorite yeah. line. Really cool. My favorite Has line. Has anyone is, gone back and watched the kep catch up episode? Enough people asked me about that that I watched it, and it's, it's actually really funny. <laughs> I had what are you going to say, Stuart? My, my favorite line from one of the movies is, Ooh, my lumbago. That's, that's the one that I love. <laughs> people stop you at Trader Joe's and say, Could you yeah. say it? <laughs> do, do the lumbago line. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite line was Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> From episode eight. <laughs> There's so <laughs> many great great lines. Lines. 90. Yes. <laughs> and uh, by the so, way, Lumbago is not a Pokemon. No. <laughs> that, that would be the worst Lumbago. Pokemon. Lumbago. That would be That's the, the other thing. You know, we were sitting like, did in the, and this was just in the first season where there's 150 Pokemon, right? We mm -hmm. would say, like, were there any, I, I mean, I'm sorry for the Pokemon fans. I have to be honest. Were there any ideas that they rejected? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> You mean like, for the yeah, like right? somebody stepped on gum on the floor, floor gum. You know, it was like yeah. whatever came into oh, like there are. no, no, now you know, there's like so uh, kitchen sink. You know, there's a kitchen. There's you know, whatever they had, they needed 150. Now they got 12 million. There's one million, that's right? named I mean, after garbage. Now there's one called Nose Pass that looks like a nose. Well, there's then, one yeah. that's called oh, like that's garbage the... something that looks like garbage. Apparently, yeah, they're, yeah, the Travelation Garbador. Yeah. yeah. They're like all the things that they're advertised on the shows that I watch. Flonase. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> Guy don't Rizzi. take this. And, Guy yeah. Rizzi is one of them. Don't take it if you're, you know. <laughs> <laughs> do they, do they have if you're allergic pass? to Bulbasaur, don't take Bulbasaur. Oh okay. <laughs> so we're all memorizing the names of those things, of medication. That's right. No, um, sorry. I, I didn't mean to 25 years off. later. Got to yeah. catch uh, them all. Okay, so I, sorry. I, wait, take wait, them all. That's funny. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're fine. You're fine. I'm being told that okay. um, that we have the frying pan line. What? No, really? This is the greatest wow. moment of my life. Yeah. Wow. So I. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, Let's go no. live. Oh. oh no, it's raining. Oh. Hey, I know. I'll use my trusty frying pan. As a drying pan. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've never, I've never no. seen that. I don't that think is... I have either. I mean, I must have. 
Wow. You're in the scene. <laughs> it's, you don't no, but when we were doing else. the show, you would only do I know. lines, right? Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, I'm not saying, okay, I understand that you don't see it as the Shakespeare Pokemon for, for Brock, but, but. Oh, I do. But because do. it's because it's requested so much, it made me really think like it rhymes and yeah. you're supporting the visual. What was I saying originally? What did they say? There's no. Like, you know what? I, talk I, about the Japanese me, puns. I, They're like, oh, you know, frying pans mean umbrella. The same word. You know, I've been working on doing a podcast. Last time I saw it, I won't, I won't bore yeah. you with it. It's coming out soon, one of these years. But anyway, so I, the, I've just been watching the first few episodes and doing, doing a little research online. And, um, you know, some fans are really mad at me, I guess, because they, I mean, we knew that they wanted to. Uh, do a straight translation of the show. Yes. Not that there really is anything, but I know what they mean. And some people are mad because we injected some gags in there that were not in there. And um, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's bringing back the memories. There were not a lot of gags where yeah. there were gags, uh, which, uh, you know, I could understand the purists that don't like that, but some people did, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a lot hey, of hate yesterday online. Cause there was like a four, four kids was like trending yesterday. I love reading the hate. I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, they were mad about a lot of things, but um, I didn't know, like, apparently Charmander didn't have a high voice or something. Did Charmander not have a high voice in the original? I don't know. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> they're mad I've, about I've, weird I've been, things. I've been I don't know. The originals and I've been watching the Japanese when I can find them on the English subs and there's not many. I haven't seen a uh, Charmander yet and I, I honestly don't remember. Now, yeah, now I'm curious because that was one of the things and I was like, I don't know, sorry. It, like, it, I, it, <laughs> it, it, it was so higher after, after the accident. Up. About Charmander? No, well, no, it was just tr trending yesterday. So that was, I just read it for the first time, probably. <laughs> Hater, haters, yeah. well, you should, I don't know. I love it. I, I, I can understand it. I can understand it. Hater, anyway, <laughs> we, we got to thank okay. Shaw for the question. So. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Shaw. Should we go faster? Are there a lot of questions? I, I don't know how many questions oh, there okay. are. They're just queuing them up We've for me. We've lost right, half good. our audience already. <laughs> yeah, we've lost control. Control. No, this. Trust me, this is what they want to hear. They they want to hear this, this banter life. back and forth. Yeah, exactly. So okay. let's go ahead and uh, jump on to the next okay. question. This is from Mark. If you could create a new Pokemon, <laughs> what would you name it? This should be interesting. Take it away, Michael. Michael Mrs. You... Mime. Yeah, no okay. Mrs. Mime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> go. Ms. Ms. Mime, Ms. Mime. Oh, well, non-gender specific mime. That's right. <laughs> they yeah. all are non-gender specific. Well, Mr. Anyway, if we Mr. Could mime. create a new Pokemon, oh, just, just is there mime. really a call for that or? Creating I like our own. floor gum. I think that that's a great I like floor gum a lot. I, I think <laughs> floor gum is great. I did floor gum's pretty good, right? I like it. That's hilarious. It actually is. It's a special ability. It's like you step on it, you're stuck to it, or it's under your desk. Like, yeah. floor gum. it's not floor gum anymore. It's desk. But uh, it still works. How about uh, X Lax? <laughs> that's already taken. Oh, season 12. Yeah. 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 Well, it's taken Too many rice balls. Else. Too many rice balls required. Excellent. I'm finding a lot about the rice balls. There's going to be a whole series of episodes to get dedicated to the rice balls. Rice oh my balls. Gosh. Oh, it's actually a big important thing, and I understand now why. Yeah, yes. A Pokemon spinoff called Rice Ball. Rice Ball. Do they have one that looks like, like a phone yet, or like a, a like a phonosaur? I'm sure or, there's something like that. Just yeah. phone. Uh, phone. Phone. What phone. 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 Oh, oh, that's good, Tara. Florospore, and it, it it's like a flower, even though I know there's one like that, and it shoots out the spore, but it's just love, and everyone's <gasps> happy. It gets, when the bubble of that spore pops, everyone's just happy and friendly, and it settles like all the battles in a lovely way. Kathleen, sure. we're sending an intervention team that. over to your house now. Just please stay <laughs> no there. And, and no one can get in. I have like one named like after Zoom, that no, like a Zoom screen. Like where you could oh. see everyone at once, and it like <gasps> it, it you could see your friends on it. Like you could when you meet the Pokemon, you could see all your. It's the way a fly's eyes work. <laughs> that's so yeah. cool. Okay, everything. yeah. I'd oh, like one to be, be called chicken, so that they'd have something to cook in those see, restaurants. See, that's right. <laughs> 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 uh, what are they eating? They're not all I'm vegetarians. Not sure. Let <laughs> me tell you this. You could just call it. Food, 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 yeah. food, 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 Pokemon. <laughs> is there a Pegasaurus? A what? A, a Pegasaurus. Oh, Pegasaurus. is there a unicorn Pokemon? Uh, it, there was, was a Ponyta. Yes. Was it was was Ponyta? Ponyta. Yeah. Ponyta. Yeah. And there was a couple of evolutions, I think, in that. 
Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Uh, how many Pokemon are there now, Nate? Do you know? Um, way too many for me to memorize. Yeah. It, it is, you, you can't know, catch them all. There's no way you can catch them all. We're, we're hovering now, around right? a, like a thousand. Is it a thousand? Wow. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you include like all the different forms and stuff like right. that, you know, right. it, it, you definitely run into a lot. But, you know, people memorize them all. You know, it, it's uh, when That's you awesome. know when you see them over and over and over again, you know, when they say their name. So right. that, that helps you memorize. Right. Um, <laughs> nine. Um, uh, I'm here. Nine hundred and thirty-two. To wow. Uh, I don't know if that includes all the forms or not. So. Wow. All right. Nine hundred thirty-two. Let's just go with that. It's yeah. Fast. Let's. Uh, yeah. I agree. Nine hundred thirty-two. All right, Mark. Thank you so much for that question. That's a mark. That was a good Thanks, one, Mark. Good, Mark. Let's move on good to the awesome. next one. Uh, this is from Rebecca. What was the most embarrassing moment you remember from recording lines? Ooh. Most We're embarrassing all... moment. Like, have you seen us? Like, do you, we look like we get embarrassed easily. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> we That's true. Like now. We're um, ridiculous humans. I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, when you're an actor, you kind of have to get outside yourself anyway. So it's kind of, you know, I might be walking down the street and, and trip and fall on someone's dog. And that's pretty embarrassing. But when you're in the booth and you're acting, it's not you're kind of out of the realm of embarrassment because you're playing someone else. You're kind of you can't you can't think about things in the same way. So mm. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I always preferred the booths where they where I was sort of facing a different direction so they couldn't see the funny faces I was making right. while I did the characters. Yeah. Right. So, and the so funny like, faces we were making at you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> because that's we funny. make weird faces when we work. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, the sessions were always, we. it was always like you were booked for a half an hour, an hour, or two hours, whatever it was. And so it wasn't a big pressure, but we knew there's a time element. And then sometimes in the middle of a session, you get a little punchy and you start having a problem with the same line. And that becomes a funny bit because because your director is laughing and the guy running the board is laughing and you're laughing and, and you gotta sort of bring it together, which, it, and it's it was fun because we needed those little releases mm -hmm. to do the job that we were doing. And and we packed a lot a lot of lines in in a, in a very small amount of time. So I think right. that's that's part of the dynamic that was there. So it was more of having, of doing hard work and having fun at the same time. So we managed to, to yeah. let them all work together. Yeah. You mentioned that moment where like you hit a line that's just, you're stuck. <laughs> Have you yes. guys had that happen? Um, yeah. Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, who's a director out here, she helps so much. She'll just start singing Waterloo. Like this is, <laughs> this is the battle. You're not going to make it any further, and then we just skip it and come back. To it. <laughs> that's a that's a great battle song, Waterloo. Yeah. Let's oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Didn't work out really well for everyone involved, but yes, it is. A good <laughs> sorry, was that too historical? I'm sorry. I didn't yeah, too too soon. Too soon, Eric. <laughs> it was hysterical and historical. <laughs> All right, so we are about to wrap up. No. I know it went by it went by super super fast. But before we go, is there uh, anything that any of you are working on? Anything you'd like to uh, throw out there to your fans for them to check out or look forward to? Well, if I ever get a, if I ever figure out how to do it, I'm I'm launching that Pokemon. Uh, it's called Original Pokeman. I'm sorry, and I explain why I call it. I'm not trying it self-aggrandizing, but uh, uh, that name was available. And if anybody is interested, I can send them a link to the first uh, episode, and it's at Original Pokeman with an A N oh, at yeah. gmail.com. I'm I'm done it. At the first episode I have, but they like you to launch with four. So I have the art. I have the first episode. Second episode, I had some problems. You know, I thought I could just wing it, but now I'm, I'm seeing all the things I didn't understand about the show the first time around. So, and look, anyway. look for me as a special guest on Mike Hag Hagney's uh, uh, podcast. Yeah. All of us. Round of applause. But also, uh, for, for people who are interested, I'm doing I'm, – I'm in the third episode – of the fourth season of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. What? So, oh, yes. Here we go. The title is, is Everything is Belmore. 
So I don't know when they're going to be released because they're still filming them. But that's going to be coming out. And right. and in the in the late fall, I'm going to be back on Broadway doing a musical called Caroline or Change. So if you're in the New York Great. area, come see me. That's awesome. awesome. Oh, there we go. Uh, see I can't wait for Broadway I'm, to open again. I'm uh, trying to stay creative while locked in my house. So um, I've been trying to do an original song every month. Um, and, it, and it's a project that I call uh, not a new album, but just a bunch of singles. And it's each song I'm focusing on one at a time. And they're, and they're based on influences, different influences on me as a singer songwriter. So the one that I'm, I'm about to release next month is my Depeche Mode meets David Bowie song. And the Ooh, last month was a Cat nice. Stevens song, um, not a Cat Stevens, but an influence song. So I'm doing stuff that's all over the map just to sort of like, you know, a little homage to the to the to the artists that have inspired me. So uh, that's what I'm doing. So ericstewart.com or find me on Twitter or Facebook, and I post that stuff all over all over the place. So you can check it out. And I just did a cool lyric video for it, which is really spooky and moody. So I think that's going to be kind of Depeche Mode Bowie esque. Wow, cool. moody. That's cool. Yay. Um, I've got. Uh, I'm in Pokemon Journeys. Um, oh. Uh, and I got some mask giveaways coming up on the Instagram. And other than that, I'm doing some writing. So I'm doing some yeah. writing class, yeah. and it turns out I love it. So uh, follow me, and if I have anything to post, I'll post it there. Ciao. We'll be on the lookout. Awesome. Yeah. Bravo. Tara, Woo! Veronica? I'm doing oh. – um, you, you want to go, Tara, should I? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm doing a project with my daughter. We're working on kind of um, – uh, like DIY type thing where we're, um, you know, things that you can watch, like a children's TV show type of thing. So um, mm -hmm. we're working on that. I'm doing a lot of audiobooks, cartoons, things like that that I'm recording from home. And I'm posting all of that on social media. So you can find out the latest there when it comes up. Great. Right. Yeah, same. Uh, face, uh, Twitter, it's at Tara Sands LA. I can bore you with, with what I'm doing there. Um, Digimon, uh, just to, you know, Ooh. rile up people up. Uh, <laughs> wow. A, a podcast called Godcast. It's not for the easily offended. Uh, mm. Gilbert Gottfried is on it with us as Jesus. Um, wow. Yeah, wow. it's weird. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just talking, when, uh, talking wherever they let me. Typecast. Oh, That's oh, right. Oh, oh, Nate, I want to just throw in one more plug just because I, I have to because it was a really Absolutely. important thing that I did. So I just directed and produced Peter Frampton's audio book called uh, do, do You Feel Like I Do? So okay. that's out. Um, cool. And it got great reviews. Peter narrates it himself. And, he's in, and it's an incredibly uh, entertaining, uh, touching, poignant book. Um, if you're a rock and roll fan, um, and you, you'll get Absolutely. a whole sense of his personality in it. It's a lot of fun to listen to. So, yeah, check that cool. out. Wait, I assume we can find that on Amazon? It's everywhere. Yeah, it's all over. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. Audible. Yep. All right. Perfect. Yep, well, yep. well, I just want to say before we head out here, uh, thank you all so much for all the hard work that you've put in to shape um, what we see today in the world of Pokemon. And uh, thank you all so much for, for the memories. And I, uh, I appreciate you all very, very much. Thanks. And I know everybody watching right now does Thanks, as well. Guys. So that's nice. Thank you. You. So we should probably you. close with a, um, you know, everyone's gone through such a course. hard time with this whole I, I last year. And um, please, everyone stay safe, wear a mask. It's more important yeah. to catch Pokemon than COVID. So we hope to see you very out well alive. Nice. Wow. Well Please, yes, we'd all like Smooth. to see you guys very in smooth. person again yeah. very, very soon. Yeah, yes. take care of others while you take care of yourself. Yep. And, and Thanks, don't everybody. play Pokemon Go and drive. Okay? That's right. No. Uh, that's important, too. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, a huge round of applause, virtual round of applause for Ooh. Veronica Taylor, Erica Stewart, Ooh. Megan Holishead, oh, Michael Erica. Hagney, Tara <laughs> Sands, and Stuart Zagnet. Yay! Yeah. And floor yeah. gum. Don't forget floor gum. And don't forget Erica Stewart. Yeah, I right. like that. Yeah, for them. That's what I'm calling you. Call me Erica Stewart. Erica Stewart. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't, no, I didn't call you Erica Stewart. Oh, yeah, you did it. You did really? Eric, you're so yeah. happy. You did. Maybe, maybe I was trying to go into Eric and Stewart. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, there it is. Eric and Stewart. I like that. Well, I apologize. I can easily change my Twitter handle. I'll put that A in there. It's fine.
It's Why because not? you have the and symbol in your end right there. So I know it's it's, <laughs> it's, all good, man. it's all good. Eric uh, Stewart, everybody give a huge round of applause to Eric Stewart. <laughs> Never heard Let's you. bring her Stop. back in. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you Bye, so much. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Nate. Bye. Bye. Bye.